Hello everyone again, it's Kyle Dahl with Scorpion Power Systems. Today I'm going to be continuing the little video series that I'm doing about the Scorpion Tribunus ESCs. If you've not seen the other videos that I've done, make sure you go ahead and check them out. You might just learn something. So in this video though, I'm going to be going over throttle calibration. So this is making sure that 0% on your radio matches 0% to the ESC and 100% on your radio matches 100% to the ESC. In addition, I'm going to be going over some of the error codes that you might be hearing if your throttle calibration is not properly set or if you like are having some other issue with your throttle input channel. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I actually want to go over with with you is some of the error codes that you might be hearing if you're having some sort of issue with your throttle calibration or throttle input channel. So the Scorpion error codes, it's an audible sound that you hear and uh, it's actually Morse code, uh, but I don't speak Morse code and I doubt most of you do either. So let's go ahead and I'll show you these two error codes and what they signify. The first one I'm going to show you is what you'll hear if you have some sort of issue with your throttle input channel. To show this, I have uh, my master cable. So normally this goes from the master port of the ESC to the throttle port of my V-Bar Neo. If I have that completely unplugged, uh, after the normal initialization beeps, you'll hear the error code, which will be DD. So these are the normal beeps. And then, okay. So this error code, DD, just means throttle input channel. Uh, if I look on the S-Proto program, to compare, if I look on the S Proto program to compare, you'll see that my throttle uh, dial here is red and showing 1%. That's just signifying, hey, there's an issue with this throttle input. If you're looking at it on the V-Bar control telemetry, you'll see also it will say uh, throttle input error. This is the first error code you might be hearing, and it means there's some problem with your throttle input. So either your cable's plugged in upside down, or your wire's cut, uh, anything like that, it's this error code. Deed, deed. The next error code that you might hear is one that signifies that the ESC is not actually seeing 0% throttle when it's initializing. Of course, this is a protection feature so that your motor doesn't turn on when you power up your ESC. So the ESC won't even arm unless it's seeing true 0% um, throttle. This happens when the remote control company's throttle output range doesn't exactly match the ESC's throttle input range. So I've seen this on a number of Futaba radios. They're just a little bit off. Also on the V-Bar control, if you're running uh, it in airplane mode, the low throttle point is a little bit off sometimes. So if that's the case and you're hearing these beeps, it's because your ESC is not calibrated. Let me show you what they are. Normal initialization. So this error code, do, 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 do. this is signifying that your ESC is not actually seeing 0%. And again, if I reference uh, the S-Proto program, you'll see again that my throttle percentage is at 4% and it's red. This is meaning error code, I'm not seeing 0% throttle, what's the problem? So, how do we fix that? Well, let me tell you. To fix this error code, we'll need to go in and do a throttle recalibration. Now, this is important not just to fix the low point, but also the high point. Because if even if your radio is at 100%, your ESC might not be reading 100%, and you could be losing out on some power. So the procedure to do this is quite straightforward and quite common with other ESC manufacturers as well. We are just going to plug it in at full throttle after the ESC makes some beeps, uh, lower it down to zero throttle, and then that completes the throttle recalibration. Of course, I'm going to recommend you take off your rotor blades or uh, your propeller or anything like that before doing this test. So let, let me show you how it goes. One note for you guys who are using the V-Bar control radio system. As you know, all of the model data is stored on the NEO itself. So when you unplug power to the ESC, the radio disconnects from the NEO and it makes it so that you can't actually do throttle calibrations in this way. 
There's a workaround for it. I'm going to explain that after I just show you the throttle calibration process. So stay tuned for that if you're using the V-Bar control radio system. All right, so to do the ESC throttle recalibration, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure on your remote you have any throttle holds or throttle cuts turned off. Then you're going to want to make sure your endpoints are set properly. So at low stick, you're going, to, you're going to want zero, and at high stick, you're going to want 100%. So then we're just going to apply power, and the next steps happens really fast, so I'm going to explain it first. We'll apply power, the ESC will make one beep, and then we're, get, we're going to immediately lower the throttle stick from 100% to low throttle. And then it should work. So here we go. I'm going to plug this in and wait for the beep. Down. I know that happens kind of fast, but it's actually necessary to do it that quickly. There's a short window between when the ESC is looking for high throttle and low throttle, so you need to make sure you get your throttle stick from 100% down to zero right after that beep and before the second beep actually starts. If we want to check to make sure that that works properly, we can go into the S-Proto program, or if you're using the V-Bar Control Touch with the telemetry, you can double check it there. But let's go ahead and check this. I'll connect. My throttle is at 0%, and then if I raise up to full throttle, I, I see 100%. So that's perfect, that's what we want to see, and that's how you do a ESC throttle recalibration. As I mentioned before, for all of you V-Bar control users, there's one more step in this process. Since the model setup itself is actually stored on the V-Bar Neo, and it is not stored on the V-Bar control, in order for that file to get accessed, and for this Neo to actually start outputting 100%, it first needs to be plugged in, powered up, and bound to the remote. Now, this process only takes a fraction of a second, but it's still too slow for the throttle recalibration program. This is because the ESC needs to be seeing 100% throttle exactly when you plug in the ESC. That's how it knows to go into the throttle recalibration program, is that it sees 100% directly when it's plugged in. And the little bit of delay that there is with the V-Bar control system, it just won't work like that. Mikado is aware of this, so they have provided some solutions. They have their ESC setup wizards, which provide a workaround solution for this problem. But personally, what I feel is the easiest solution is to just use a 2S LiPo battery to power the V-Bar Neo while we're doing this process. Let me explain. Using this 2S LiPo, I can just externally plug it in to the V-Bar Neo. I'll let it bind and initialize. Then when everything is up and running and my model setup is running on the remote, I can just click into normal throttle, uh, click out of throttle cut, put it to 100%. And then at this point, the V-Bar Neo is already outputting 100% throttle. So I can just go in and plug in my battery, wait for the beep and then lower it. And there we have it. So that's kind of my workaround solution for that little problem. Uh, don't worry about putting a 2S LiPo onto the BEC. The ESC is protected against back voltage. So even if you're only running a six volt BEC, but you put a 2S LiPo battery on it, it's not gonna cause any problems. The only thing to pay attention is you don't want the BEC to be overpowering the battery. So, for example, if you're using an old 4-cell nickel metal hydride battery, but your ESC is set to 8 volts, that can cause some problems because the ESC will then be charging uh, the battery that you're using. But the other way around, it's not an issue, so don't worry about it. That is everything that you need to know about ESC throttle recalibration on the Scorpion Tribunus ESCs. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll look forward to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.